Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft on the Block. This is the uh, not Technic Pack tutorial series slash Let's Play. Yes, I've been recording a lot of videos all at once and trying to get caught up and I have not actually come up with a new name yet. So you will know the name by looking at whatever it was called. But we are doing a very Technic Pack-like series. Um, and it's an extension of the Technic Pack 6 tutorial series that I had started. This one is based on actually a uh, a mod pack it's I don't know if I hesitate to call it a mod pack but a, a mod set that direwolf 20 put together where you have to do the install yourself um, and apparently that's the way the mod developers like it so you know what they do a lot of amazing work and if that's what they want I'm I'm willing to to do that I also really think the technic pack is a great way for uh, oh wow it's like a little baby dog or something. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry, I think the uh, Technic Pack is a great way to get into things, and I really wish that um, that it would move along a little bit quicker, but I mean, those guys are doing it for free, and I understand that. So anyway, I wanted to get on to a, a, a 125 world with all of the newest um, mod updates, and so that's where I am. I've added a couple of things. I've added more creatures. You can tell um, right away that that is something that uh, Direwolf didn't have, at least when I did the install. I've also changed some configuration settings um, to have IC2. Um, both the sounds are enabled, and I'm using IC2 uh, spawns for ore. So anyway, that's that's really the difference. Um, last time we were just starting to get into th some Thaumcraft, and I'm really digging it. So what I did was I set this thing up, and this is a uh, a Viz condenser. It will pull Viz um, out of the air. Now a couple of things I forgot to tell you. This is I think this is the moon phase thing. So I think we're on basically a dark moon right now, um, and this affects how how well it works at any given time. I think, um, but I also was not able to get anything into this, right? So that's a bunch of taint, actually, I'm pretty sure. And that's because I hooked this up just so that I could throw stuff in if I decided to. And it will fill up that tank as well. But I'm not getting any actual pull out of here. So I realized that there's the whole way this works is based on suction. Um, the, the consumer sucks Viz out of whatever the producer is. So it's not really... Um, you don't, like, pump it. Well, there are pumps, and I'll get into that, but... Anyway, the way that it works is that there's a there's a thaum per, thaum, thaum per cubic inch or something like that, and it loses one every block it gets away. Um, so we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're ten blocks away, and these tanks only have ten um, to start with. So, and if if two things have the same, if two two consumers have the same. Um, TP, whatever it is, thumbs per cubic inch. If they have the same, then whichever one is closest will win. So I actually fired this thing up to infuse some wood, and it it worked. Um, we got um, got the the thumb got pulled out of that thing. Just kind of started pulling out of the air, and it pulled whatever I had in here from from this. So um, I think what I'm going to try, and I don't know this is going to work for sure, is an arcane bellows. So I need. Um, a crystal. I need a vaporous crystal, which I don't know that I have. I might have to go look for one. I know where one is if I need it. So I need some uh, enchanted wood to have leather and ironing it. So I have the iron. Uh, I don't have the leather. I have the enchanted wood. So we'll go see if we have one of the crystals we're looking for. So let's go take a quick look. I'm always looking around when I come out because I'm afraid there's going to be creepers or something. Um, let's see. What kind of crystals do we have? Yeah, we do. We have a vaporous crystal. Good. Okay, so we need a piece of leather. And we should be good. Now we can throw up a blue portal and we should be able to go through. Get back home. So that's a pretty good setup that we got. I'm not going to worry too much about the uh, about the there to here. Um, I'm just going to leave this for now. This gets us back automatically and we can we can use the wireless redstone in the other way. Okay, so I think we have everything we need. Let's go. I guess I might as well put it on the crafting table so I can get the overlay. All right. So we need one, two, three, four, a piece of iron. Whoops. One of these and one of these. 
and that gets us an arcane bellows. Now that will increase the suction by 10 in the area, and I don't. I, I think you can apply it directly to the device, but you can also apply it in line. I think. So let's try this. I think I want to put it right here. And that totally didn't work at all. <laughs> Probably because I don't know how to use it. Maybe you can't actually do it in line. Let's see. Oh, oh man, the animations are awesome though. This is going to make such a sweet room. Let's see. That didn't work how I expected it. What if we did... Hmm. Half of me wants to try this. Let's see. What did it connect to? It connected to this, didn't it? And that's not what I want at all. Oops. <laughs> Let's get this stuff. See the stu the hitboxes on the uh, on the Thumbcraft stuff are interesting. They they are interesting. Yeah. Let's see if I connect it right here. Does it do anything? It does. Let's just see if that would actually work, and then we'll try to figure out where to put it. Oh, there we go. So you can see already. That's really cool. Yeah. So I'm I'm really excited about setting up all the Thumbcraft stuff over here. It's gonna be very cool. It just looks really cool, and that even looks cool there it's just not not the right setup so maybe what we do I think we can move this it doesn't have to be right by that tank we'll take this and I think ideally we can just put that below it like that there we go and it basically works so as this pulls pulls viz out of the air you can see we got a partial moon so that's the the moon phases and that will just kind of start to fill up that tank now one thing i learned about these tanks is that this is just a regular tank there's not the thaumium reinforced tank if you leave viz in these tanks it will it says it will fail impressively so that means giant explosion i think so that's a little scary because i don't really know what i'm going to do with the viz and i also don't know how long it takes for that to occur so I'm not exactly sure what to do about that um, or how worried to be but one of the things we'll want to do whoops, is try to get to a reinforced let's see this thaumium reinforced tank which we can't craft you notice that it, it's darkened out our crafting right we can't craft this um, without the special crafting table and I cannot remember for the life of me what that thing is called I might have to look it up but it's the uh, Thaumcraft crafting table there's a Thaumic duplicator darkness generator it might be the enchanter is that right? no I don't think it is void interface Crucible of Souls, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. There's a Viz Pump, that's another thing you can put, and I think that one can go in line and it does increase by 20. So we got pumps, we got all kinds of stuff here. So anyway, I'll find out what it is and we'll we'll come back and do it. Some of the totems are cool, it's just gonna be really cool looking over here. But yeah. So we will we will get more into that. So at least this is kind of working. This pump is is providing enough suction that that's going to come out. And then I believe that this can still this can still also pull um, all the thaum it needs because it actually was able to pull it out when I used it last time. So we'll we'll keep messing with it and get closer. So the next thing we have to do, um, I'm probably going to stick with a little bit more thaumcraft stuff. I want to get maybe want to even get to the point where we can start doing some research which means we're going to need a couple of things we're going to need that whatever i can't pronounce the thing that starts with a q that one the uh... the casitum or something like that or i don't know i'm sure that's horribly wrong we're going to need one of those 
and that's going to take some gold, a feather, so I should probably get that stuff together because we're going to want to start doing the research and we're going to want to get a library together. So maybe this is what I do. Maybe I put a little thought into how I'm going to set up the library because that's going to be very important. We're going to want to make sure we're surrounded by books. I would like to make it kind of a a hidden library, but I don't know if I can pull that off. So um, let me go do a little uh, research and thought into that, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I actually am still working on the library, but I just had a thought. Um, I finally realized how I'm going to keep my transportation system, my teleporting, portal teleporting system, compact and not have to have 100 gates. Um, it's not quite as efficient as just having the, you know, step on the thing and go, but it's close. It's better than having to, right now, I can put down a blue portal and then I can just right click and that'll take me back over there, right? Because I have it set up so that right now I'm actually running the uh, tower portal, right? So I can pick which one I want from here. And because of that, it makes it actually kind of easy. So what I really need to do, I can just reuse my blue portal. I don't need another blue portal. I'll just put this down right here. I won't even have to do any wiring or anything. I'll put it right there. And now when I step on it, it opens the blue portal. Well, it doesn't have any place to go, right? But all I got to do then is just open my orange portal, right? So I can right click. And if I wanted to go somewhere else, let's say I had a different portal set up, I could just set this for, you know, whatever the next one's going to be the, uh, you know, oil platform portal. And I could just set that one as the one just like this right? And it'll have to be an orange portal for it to work with this because you can't have an orange, two blue portal, portals open at the same time. Um, but we can also do different color portals, right? So if that became an issue, we would, the, the orange and blue go together. But if I wanted to have another set of portals, I would have to do a different color portal gate. But as long as I'm okay with all of my home, this being blue and orange being wherever else I want to go. And then if I want to dynamically be able to go, let's say I'm out in the wilderness, you know, and I'm not, not by my home, I just throw up a blue portal and I go back to the tower or wherever I want to go. But since I'm here and it's really easy, instead of having to do that every time, put down a portal, I can just go like this. I hold that right, right click to hold it down and then bam, I'm there. Right. And then going back is easy. I don't even have to do that going back. I just automatically go this way. And what I could probably do, I mean, you could get even fancier with it, but so anyway, I'm working a little bit on the library. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit more when I get back, but this is what it's going to look like. Um, it's it's getting there, so I will uh, I'll do a little more work on it, and then I will come back and show you. But I just had an epiphany on that, so I wanted to show you guys what I was thinking. So yeah, that's gonna make it really easy. So now I can just get back and forth, and if I'm just going you know back and forth between here and the tower and doing whatever, it's as easy as just keeping this thing out with two open. Just right click, bam, back through. So anyway, that's why I wanted to show you. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back, and a couple of things that I think are extremely cool. I just figured out one. I just realized that I think the transmutation tablets now share EMC and what you've learned between tablets. This one has 11,152. I actually put a piece of, uh, of tungsten in here because I was trying to build some stuff and I wanted to get it going quickly. Um, the other one has the same amount. And I've noticed that when I think that I haven't learned something on the other table, it's there. So I think it shares. I'm going to have to find that out for sure, but that's pretty cool. Um, another thing, I'm totally in love with this system now, so I can just right click and I go through and I'm good. On the way back, all I have to do is just go straight through, go back and forth as much as I want. I'll be able to use these gates for any transportation. Okay, got a fair amount of viz in there, um, but I need a new crystal in here, so I was going to get that going. So there we go. That has now started, and now the viz will start to flow. And this will start to fill up, and we're going to want to use it quick because I'm afraid it's going to blow up our whole tower. Anyway, this is my little library area. So I didn't do as good of a job, and I'll probably come back and do a little bit better job. I didn't do as good of a job as I have done in the past <coughs> on this, this hidden library thing. But the way this works is I have a little room in here, close it, and now we're surrounded by bookshelves. Um, I even have them in the corners which I think, if I, if I remember correctly, that having them in the corners actually adds to the uh, enchantment level and all that. So this is, I've used this exact layout before in a, uh, in a hidden enchantment room for just a regular enchantment table, but we're going to use it for the, whatever it is, the mm, QU something, that thing right there, the casetum, casetum, whatever it is. Okay, so we're going to build one of these. Now, I had all the pieces, and I don't know if I do. Do I have smooth stone? I may not have any smooth stone. I might have to go get some. And I'm going to need to go get those artifacts. 
Nope, I've gotten rid of all my smooth stone. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So I have smooth stone. I have gold. I've got that stuff. The jars must be in here. Yep. And the gold. All right. Let's do it. Let's craft it up. So we need that, that, an ink sack, three gold, and some smooth stone. And then we get this. And this thing's actually pretty cool. It's well animated, if I remember correctly. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is really cool. I'm happy with this. So this is, I just made this little couch. I kind of like it. It's just made with a lot of the red power stuff and then the glass table. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I'll probably make another table very similar to that and put the crystal chest. I'm going to have one crystal chest over here. It might actually sit right there is what I was thinking because it would be kind of cool to be able to see it. Or maybe right here when you're coming down the stairs. Probably sit right there though. And it'll sit on a glass table like that. I thought that would be cool because I think all we need over here is one chest for all of our kind of Thaumcraft stuff. And I think the crystal chest holds a lot. So we'll probably do that very quickly. But let's go ahead and place our Kea Casetum. I'm going to have to figure out how to pronounce that. I know the frame rate's bad. I really do apologize. All right, there we go. So now it's getting all just like the, uh, just like the old uh, enchantment tables, which I never really used that much of. But that's, that's excellent. So now if we close this, it should even get better. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it started over. I mean, I think we're getting just about as much as you can possibly get as far as benefit. So you can like throw basically anything in there. 75% loss, 1% success rate, right? So for stuff like this, it's pretty much no chance. And stuff like this is same thing, 1%. You can actually, I don't know if you put items in there, if it boosts it, yeah, it gives us a 3% chance, right? So we can we can play with that, but what we really want is to get artifacts that are that are more useful. So what we might do is just throw this, well, I need paper, let's see. Let's go and get some paper. Probably just out of our transmutation table. That dog is still sitting over there. I just realized. Maybe he's the dog that I need to get for my uh, doggy... Whatever. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Okay, so, paper. The problem with this is that you have to get something that... Maybe I didn't put... See, this actually will be a good test. I probably don't have paper on there. Oh, yeah, I do. Right there. So let's get... I don't know half a dozen pieces of paper. Probably wouldn't hurt to get some more steak, frankly. Just to have some. <laughs> there we go. And... Alright, we're good. And this thing, I, I replaced this crystal. I've been through about three of them so far, and you can see that we're, we're definitely getting viz. It's flowing a little bit. It just takes some time. It's a slow process, but yeah, there it goes. It looks really cool. I'm really happy with that. Alright, let's see. I think... We could just dump a stack of dirt in there. What if we did this? Something like that. Put a piece of paper in. Now your chance of losing it is pretty good because although we missed the losing it there, I think. We're losing these, but we're not losing our actual item. So we don't have very much of a chance of this actually doing anything. But while it is doing its thing, let's go and get some of our artifacts. Actually, let's sleep first so we don't have to mess with the potential of death. And we are playing on hardcore. I, I always have to remind people, I don't know if I switched um, between. So if I ever do things that seem overly cautious, that's why. All right. Um, oh, sounds like my kid is calling me. So let me get, I'll get these artifacts together and I'll meet you back here. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, we may get interrupted again, which is totally fine, but just to warn you. So I'm going to go ahead and make the crystal chest while we're over here too, actually, I decided. So... I think I have the iron to do it. I need a chest, which I'm just going to grab off the transmutation table. You have to get... If you put something in there that's, like, close to what what the chest would cost, you'll get the chest. Let's see. Maybe this. Yeah, there we go. So that's kind of a way to filter it. That's how I do it. If I don't have the thing I want to target on me, I put something that's kind of equivalent to it in EMC and throw it in there. Anyway, okay. So let's do this. And I actually need 
to get some gold. I don't think I have enough. So yeah, I've got three pieces of gold. I'm going to need some more. Let's just macerate this. It might be a little loud, but it's so fast now that it's not going to really matter. Um, I also just, um, I know that Advanced Machines is now ready for um, compatibility with 125 and all this, so I probably will do that soon. Um, I just really don't care that much right now, um, but Advanced Machines is definitely cool. I just don't, I just don't need it yet. So I may do that eventually, and I'm still thinking about um, I'm still thinking about using. What am I trying to say? Um, Somnia. I've been considering that, and I just don't know how I feel about that yet. So let's get some glass. In fact, let's get glass off the transmutation table. We don't have very much. Uh, maybe paper again. No, maybe cobblestone. Yep, there we go. Just get a, I don't know, half stack or something. There we go. No, not quite, but okay. So the diamond chest is next, which is, I think, like that. Yep. And then the crystal chest, finally, is a diamond chest with glass. So I'm actually extremely excited about this. Alright, crystal chest. There we go. And I'm probably going to use... I'll probably do something like this. I'll make a panel for the floor and then I'll make some panel strips for the base and a post. I think we got everything we need. Let's give this a shot. So... Oh. oh, that was cool. <laughs> I could step back through it. I f almost forgot what I came over here for in the first place was... Uh, let's do this. A lot of these cool items. So let's just get rid of some of the stuff I don't need right now. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. Cinder pod. Blaze rod might be useful. Is that all the uh, interesting items? I think so. Here we go. There we go. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to put it... I don't know. Let's see. Where would I put it? Probably centered somewhere right around here. That's probably the perfect spot for it, really, right there. Kind of feature it. It'll be a little bit in the way, which is kind of cool. <laughs> in a strange way. Like that, like that. I could have made the whole stand glass, and maybe I'll do that. Like that, and then I'm really excited to see what this thing looks like. How should it face? Probably like this. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. That's a big chest, so that's basically an alchemical chest, right? So let's dump some of this stuff in here, and I'm hoping that I'm only, I was going to just try to put, like, cool stuff in there, so that which, I mean, zombie brains and distorted skulls. <laughs> that That's obviously cool stuff. Nice. That is pretty sweet. And I think it, you would have, if you filled it up, it would have every slot. That is awesome. <laughs> that is the coolest. That's one of the coolest things I've seen yet. I think I am going to have to make a full glass. Let's make a full glass table for it, because that is, it deserves it. So let's do this. We'll make a glass panel. We'll take the glass panel and make panel strips. Turn those into posts. This is going to be awesome. And then let's get our wood breaking tool. Oh, no, not our wood breaking tool. There we go. And let's put down a panel and a panel post. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. I like it. All right. So now we've got uh let's ooh, let's get this slime. Maybe he'll give us this will be my first bit of luck now that I actually have. Maybe they only give you cool things if you're in in a very high thaum or high aura area cuz I really don't think we are. All right, let's see. Yeah, now we're good. Let's go see if we got anything in our 
research. Probably not. Oh, we did. We got a fragment of lost knowledge. And we ran out of paper. Because I only put one piece in there. So let's, uh, that's awesome. So we can take that. So, so you can put anything in there. It's just not necessarily going to yield you anything. So these last four. But I put like what? I don't even remember how much it was. But like a total of like maybe 25 pieces of dirt. And we got one fragment of lost knowledge. That's pretty good. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, let's close this. It helps. See that? That's that's a pretty sweet. That's really sweet. All right. Okay, so we didn't get anything. But now we can take this and we can research it to the next level. And to do that, we want to try to increase the, you know, the potential. So we'll throw this in and then we'll do something like that. And we've got a 35% chance of success and we bombed, right? So I lost it. I should have put something better in there. But anyway, so now we can just throw other stuff in here. Let's see what we got. Uh, I got a little cobble, not much. Well, we could go get something cool. But I don't have a lot of artifacts, and I kind of feel like I want to learn to use stuff before I start messing with that. So let's take... We got a bunch of this marble. Marble's cheap. It's as cheap as anything else. I can transmute dirt into marble, so... One for one. So let's put this in there. Let's put that there. Split these out. 3% chance, yeah. It's I, it's probably somewhat based on EMC value, just like... Um, just like equivalent exchange stuff. I don't know if that's exactly true, but things that, that are close in EMC value seem to be close here, so might have something to do with that. I don't know. Anyway, we'll let that go for a minute, and I'm trying to think of what else we wanted to do in this episode. I know I had lots of stuff planned, like I always do. I'm just super excited about that. I just think that's so awesome. Um, Alright, well let me do this then, yeah, because we, if we get a yeah, we're getting a good amount of viz. If we get some research, then we can build some new things. Oh, see, there we go. Let's see if we get any more fragments. So basically, the way this works, if you take a fragment of lost knowledge and then you put it in and you research that, you get some additional, um, the, whatever the next stage is. I can't remember. There's there's like three stages. We'll see them. And then once you've taken it and you have an actual theory, you can take that theory or no, a theory is next, and then a discovery, I think. So let's take this. Let's fill this up. Let's see if this does anything for us. 34% chance. Not very good still. And we lost it. <laughs> let's try this again. I know you guys are probably yelling at me. There's got to be a better way to do this. But we're getting, you know, fragments of lost knowledge out of marble. Basically out of one EMC value thing. So we can afford it. Um, I think what I'll do is... See if I can get this going. Anyway, the, I think the next stage is a theory. Well, in fact, we can we can look. So you get something like a theory, right? So these are the theories, which are the things that come after the... And they have different difficulties. A lot of these are all trivial, so I don't know what the deal is with that. And then after that are discoveries. So these are the discoveries. So you can get like a crucible of the eye. So you have to discover the things before you can actually build them, which is really cool, because I don't know if you guys remember before, but you could just um, basically... You could just build... Um, whatever, like you could build a, a crucible or, or the crucible of the eyes or any of that stuff just off a regular crafting table. Well, you can't do that now. In fact, you have to have, um, you've got to have the, uh, the special infuser to actually do the building, but uh, actually, I'm not even sure about, we'll, we'll get into it, but you, uh, you have to have the, that's basically like the crafting table, so you have to have the infuser to do the building, but you have to have the discovery before you can do that, so you take the discovery, you put it on the table, you do the whole jig, and anyway, that's the way it goes. So we've got about, I don't know, about three minutes left before the 30 minute mark. Let me uh, let me go do a little bit more research, make sure I know what I'm doing, and then we'll finish out with some Thaumcraft, and we'll talk about what we're going to do, uh, we're gonna do next episode. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and got a couple more, I think, let's see. Yeah, I got four. Four fragments of lost knowledge. So let's grab a stack of something to throw in there with it. And actually, let's grab a couple of... Let's grab one of our skulls. So this is going to yield a type of common forbidden. So it will, it will yield a type of a forbidden. And it's common, so it's not going to give us that great of a chance. Uncommon. Um, cinder pearls, I don't know if they even do anything. Depleted crystals probably don't. This is an uncommon artifact. Um, that one doesn't have... It doesn't specify whether it's forbidden or anything like that so i'm going to try a distorted skull just to see if we get lucky after i try the other ones that we got but let's uh 
Let's do this. Let's just get a stack of dirt. Actually, let's get a couple of stacks of dirt. And we'll use those as our boosters, which is nearly useless. There's our 30 minute mark or something thereabouts. And let's do this. Oops. Got to get something out of this, I would think. We're at 35%, which isn't great. Oh, there we go. We got one. Crucible of Eyes. Awesome. So that was one of the things that we wanted. We lost another one. And hold on just a sec. Oh, we got two. All right. Hold on. My son just came down again, so uh, I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and we're going to do a little enchanting. I grabbed, um, or not enchanting, um, research. I grabbed a distorted skull because I have two of those. I may have already said this. Um, I got a couple of big cat claws, which I just happen to have, so I thought I would maybe throw those in there. Um, let's see what else. I think I got a couple of piles of dirt, and I think I was preparing. Um, I actually, I'm not sure if, it seems like this thing is like full now, maybe, because this is acting strange. It's almost like it stopped at the top of the first tank or something. Because I've been getting a ton of viz, and it's not filling up. So I'm wondering if it has something to do with, like, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Not our problem right now. So let's see. I put another crystal in here. I'm trying to think of what else. I'm having an awful lot of lag. My frame rate is atrocious. And I just rebooted, so I'm not sure if it's just because we're getting all this stuff going and maybe Thaumcraft causes more lag than I thought, but it is a problem, so I'm going to have to work that out. Um, let's see. Okay, so yeah, final kind of stuff for this episode. Let's do some research. So we've got these two. Now, notice that these are one of them is hard and one of them is torturous. This process is a little different. Um, this process will basically have a failure rate if you fail too many times. Well, let's just start it and I'll show you. So, put it in there. And maybe... Yeah, okay, so success rate is 50%, so these, these go up, right? So this is going to go up, and if your failure rate is 14%, which is pretty high, if I hit two... Oh, see, I just hit a failure. If I hit two failures in a row, I'll lose it, which I haven't yet but I didn't hit a success, so that's that's bad. Oh, there we go, so we got another success. So this is gonna be a little difficult, so we have a 14% chance of losing one of our research ticks, and we have a 54% chance of actually hitting it. So, yeah, it's interesting. And I'm not sure if these are actually, yeah, they're doing something because they're getting consumed, so this is probably not the best thing to be boosting my research with but anyway this thing is going to do its thing it'll it'll keep going i picked the hard one this one's torturous um, but it is a thaumatic enchanter which is going to be awesome and this one is the uh, crucible of eyes so that's the next level crucible and we'll probably go ahead and make it because why not let's see oh there we go we're up to three. Oh, we just hit another one so we might we might get this there we go now we have our discovery, Crucible of Eyes. Let's try, well, maybe what I'll do is save that one. Maybe next time we'll do a little bit more, we'll do a little bit more research. I want to make sure that I know what I'm doing before I start using all my, my artifacts, especially since we hit this now so we can actually use it. So once we have four of these, we can make what's called the Thaumonomicon, let's see, which is a book right here. And you can take you can take either a bunch of um, fragments of knowledge, or you can take some discoveries and put a book in the middle. And then this will become basically, it'll hold all of your discoveries and everything. And it'll also kind of give you hints as to the things you haven't discovered yet and how many things are left. So it's just really, it's cool. And plus it'll look awesome sitting in our crystal chest. Okay, so I'm going to leave that stuff in there for right now. Man, really, really bad frame rate. Definitely gonna have to do something. It's it's worse all of a sudden. I wonder if it has to do with that thing, because it's way worse than it was. I was getting. Is it raining? I was getting well over thirty. Uh, or well, my recording I actually have limited to thirty, but I was getting thirty during recording and you know sixty plus, and now I'm getting about fifteen during recording. If that sometimes right now it's around twenty, fifteen, twenty. Okay, 
Um, let's do this. So now we can take this. I can't remember how this works. I'm going to have to wing it. So this goes in here. No. Darn it. What do I do with these things? Oh, depleted crystals. I forgot about that. So you get depleted crystals out of this process as well. And I actually have some others in here. Yeah, so we got a bunch of depleted crystals, and I'm not sure exactly what you can do with those, but you can do something with them. All right, let's see. How do I do this? Well, before I waste your time, let me go figure it out real quick. I was sure it had something to do with... Can I read it or something? Oh, I can read it. Okay. Oh, okay. So you read it. Now I c you can now make the Crucible of Eyes. Okay, excellent. So to do this, you have to have a Crucible, a Redstone, and a Spider's Eye. And we have all of that. And that will make the Crucible of Eyes. Let's go ahead and do that. So I can take this thing. There we go. Oh, you see that? As soon as we took that thing off, it started dumping the viz in. So it does have something to do with that. It's something flaky. I had to put that crucible on a stand or something, but that'd be kind of lame. But yeah, so there's something weird going on with the way this this works. I probably need to knock that off and put the other crucible, or the, uh, yeah, the crucible of eyes should probably go over here. I thought it was clever to put it here, but I might have been wrong. Anyway, let's go. I need to get a spider eye. What else did I need? Oh, redstone. I have redstone, though. So let's just run back over really quickly and get a spider eye. Stanley is... T if he keeps growing, he's going to be way too big for this place. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. Okay, got a spider's eye. Now we have to make this on the... Uh, the, the crafting table, the infuser. There we go. Alright, so it takes... Redstone, spider eye, and crucible. Here we go. So, crucible at the top. Redstone, spider eye. Oh, and it takes viz. There we go. So you can see it's sucking out the viz, and there we got our crucible of the eye. So let's see, how much do we use? Not really that much. We've got plenty of viz, and we got to start using that stuff up. <laughs> let's see, can we put, like, depleted crystals or something in there? Is that possible? I'm going to have to find out what you do with those. It'd be cool if we could like re redo them or something. No. Nope. No such luck. So, yeah. Well, there we go. So now let's place this thing down. Again, the Crucible of the Eyes is cool because, well, it's really not that big of a deal now. Um, but when before I used to use only it, man, that it's, the stuff's flowing in there which is totally useless. I don't know if these pipes are going to fill up. That might actually be kind of cool. But right now we're not gaining anymore anyway. Got another depleted crystal. Let's go ahead and put those away. Anyway, what I was going to say is um, this will emit a redstone signal. I can't remember. There's there's three or four different levels of the crucibles, and this one holds a little bit more viz, um, and it will emit a redstone signal when it's like 95% full or something like that. So if you were pumping stuff in from like a chest, if you're from a quarry or something like that, um, you could stop the pump when it was almost full because when these overflow, I don't know if you guys have seen, but it'll like melt holes in your floor and the viz gets all over the place and it's a mess. So anyway, so that's an upgrade. We've got one thing down. So yeah, we can start doing a little bit more. Um, I'm still really impressed with this thing. Next time we'll, uh, we'll research the distorted skull and our, try to get our, our thalmic enchanter. If we could get that thing, I think that would be awesome because we would, we would definitely start doing some stuff with that. So anyway, I'm getting a little stuck on the Thaumcraft, but it's it's just a lot of fun. Plus, I built this awesome tower, which is it's fun to work in. So anyway, um, I'm really I'm really excited about this whole redstone signal thing as well. This the wireless redstone. It works way better than the old stuff, and I'm just really excited to use it. Um, not that the old stuff was good. I don't want to dog anybody's. I mean, it was it was the the first, but um, this works really well, and I really like being able to name the the stuff and I don't think you could do that before I don't know what the phase shift and the spectrum and all that stuff is for I'm gonna have to learn about that but anyway I'm rambling and I apologize we are uh, we're doing well I think we're making our making our way in the world so um, next time we'll probably do a little bit more 
Um, I, well, like I said, in the meantime, I'll probably get set up with um, some additional power over there and some redstone power and get a quarry set up. That's stuff you guys have seen me to do, so you don't need to watch again. But I'll, I'll show you once I have it. And I'll start looking into what mods we want to play with next. I think we'll probably, probably do quite a bit of um, building on the house soon, and I'll need to get a lot of resources, so I'll have to do a lot of um, stuff to get ready. I have an idea for the automatic sorting system that I'm going to make in the house. I'm basically going to try to do it in that little, well, not in the house, in the uh, in the workshop. I'm going to try to do it in that little workshop and hide it in the walls and stuff, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I think that's it. Anyway, thumbs up if you liked it. I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate your patience. Um, please leave comments. Let me know what you like and don't like, and I'll definitely read them all and respond. And I guess that's it. Um, I will talk to you guys next time.